The Houston Texans have traded for Stephon Diggs wow. of the Buffalo Bills. Yes, the Houston Texans of the AFC South. The Houston Texans are supposed to be a dumpster fire for at least another decade or two. The Houston Texans that people were calling a UFL team what? about a year and a half ago. The mm. Houston Texans that Jack Easterby calling shots mm -hmm. not too long ago. Truth the team that was supposed to suck forever in the AFC South. The team that was supposed to be a cute story with great uniforms. Yeah. Yeah. Great. The team has never won a Super Bowl. One of only four teams in the NFL that haven't done as such. They were supposed to be a cute story forever and suck in the AFC South as the Indianapolis Colts come marching back into relevance in an AFC that is absolutely stacked. Mm -hmm. But what happened? Oh, they hired D'Amico Ryans. What's he? Well, he seems to be the greatest coach of all time. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Happy, jolly, successful everywhere. Former player, so he understands it, but he has, holds everybody accountable so the building shows up on time and does things the right way. Nick Serio, this guy's supposed to be a doofus. Yeah. yeah. He was wearing a headset during games. That's right. Mm -hmm. This GM thought he was calling uh -huh. plays. Fool. Shut up, dude. <laughs> Idiot. You're dumb. That's what he was supposed to be. Mm-hmm. He's also under the Bill Belichick tree, so he sucks. Well, that's what I've heard. Yeah. That's, yeah, that's what we GM was supposed to stink. Head coach, never been a head coach before. Dumpster fire was supposed to continue to be on fire. Not even a fire, just a dumpster. Mm -hmm. Not even a spectacle. Just a bland metal barrel of shit yep, is yep. what Houston, Texas are supposed to be. That's right. For years. When they draft C.J. Stroud, number two overall yeah. pick. Not the best quarterback in the draft class. Number two overall pick. Mm -hmm. yep. He's still going to be available, too. Don't you worry. Hold your horses, Houston. This guy who's tall, seemingly incredibly charming, smart, high football IQ, right. and can put a ball into a dartboard like Luke Littla does yeah. with darts in England. Huh. And they get well answered. What's he? Well, he's great. Yeah, of course he is. Good. Nico, well, there's no Nico in the NFL. Nico, that's a wrestling name. Yeah, it Nico. is. 75-yard touchdown in the AFC South Championship mm -hmm. game. First play. First play of the game. Whew. They got weapons. They got a culture. They got a team. And now they add another number one wide receiver yeah. to their team. Oh, their offense won't be able to do – well, yeah. Th Bobby is a wizard yeah, at calling plays. Yeah, Somehow he doesn't get a head coaching job. Mm -hmm. yeah. In years past, if somebody was to do – with what Bobby Slocum did with the Houston Texans offense with a rookie, the greatest rookie quarterback season of all time in C.J. Stroud. In any other year of head coaching cycle, seven of them, eight of them, Bill Belichick couldn't get a job. That's nope. right. This guy is out of our division. He's a head coach at a terrible football team somewhere. For sure. Instead, he's back. Yeah. C.J. Stroud's back. Right. Run game that is phenomenal is back. Balance is back. Moxie is back. And that guy gets added to the team Ooh. for a second rounder next year. Yep. Not even this year. What? A second rounder next year. Damn. Houston Texans pick up a fifth and sixth rounder, which we assume Casario will turn into a, an all-pro yeah. as well. Definitely. <clears throat> Houston Texans are a wagon. And the Buffalo Bills appear to be, potentially, still opening up more room while also moving on from a potential conversation that they've had to have every single offseason seemingly for the last three years. If you do recall, there was some fashion shows and some comments made, then a return, mm -hmm. then an exit, then a no-show at practice. He was in the building. He was not in the building. Coach McDermott, are you worried about Stephon Diggs? Yeah, I'm concerned, he says, in a press conference <laughs> in the offseason. It's like, wow, there must be real problems over there. And then he would display his emotion through his photos that he was posting, one of which he was wearing a shin guard yeah, on it just one and he was like this is how i talk through my fashion and my photos it's like well this guy's sick and get hit on his shins mm -hmm. that's why he's wearing a shin guard in this high fashion photo and then just last night Ugh. and they patched those things up obviously he had a season towards the end wasn't as great as maybe it was at the beginning but then just last night on twitter i think what potentially pushed and this is no inside information at all this is me just mm -hmm. being incredibly pissed off about the whole situation of course Second rounder, we need a weapon too here in Indianapolis. Second round, we could throw a second rounder. Hey, can't we toss a couple second rounders? Be easy. Houston, Texas is tossing second rounders. We made a little Next bit year. of an off. Yeah, this year you could have thrown. And one. we're getting a fifth and a second. Come on. We, I thought, you know, and it's Houston, Texas. Why, though? Potentially because RG3, who is a prolific ex user. Yeah, yes. statue. A lot of activity. Mm -hmm. People have been investigating the activity, saying, where's this coming from? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Got a demo. Big time. For sure. Got a lot of personality. Very active on there. Mm -hmm. He questions in a video that was linked to, which very rarely do people actually hit the links in tweets. Correct. People are a lazy bunch. Yep. That is just how it goes. So you're asking me to go somewhere else. I want to go see it. Okay, I'm here. Leave so I'm this like, out. Doing it. But standard promotional move. We do it. Everybody does it. Mm -hmm. 
So he's promoting something that was of a grander video. Yes. yes. So we don't know what the whole video entails. That could no. have been a very long one. Mm -hmm. But we do know the topic was, is Stephon Diggs essential to Josh Allen's success? Then the peaky part, this son of a bitch, <laughs> he comes in. Because if he doesn't say this, I don't think. Yeah, he's probably still a bit. I don't think any of this. I don't think Houston Texans had Stephon Diggs today for a second rounder. So the peaky part, you got a peaky problem, and that's with me. Mm -hmm. Peaky Pat is pissed off at you, pal. Does Josh benefit from having a top tier receiver? Yes. Is he essential to his success? No. Stephon Diggs replied. I knew that was coming. Sense. I knew that was coming. Ah! I did. I went. Yes, he did. Uh -huh. I went. I yes, did. he did. It was did. good alliteration, though, before that. It was. Thank you. P words are tough. Yeah. <laughs> Stephon Diggs responded, though, to the Peaky Pirate. You sure? Everybody sitting in the building, they're like, we're trying to prepare for a draft, try to get another weapon, maybe free some things up for Stephon Diggs. And the end of the year didn't go as good as it went that we were hoping it would be. And now he's asking, hey, you think Josh would be good without Stephon Diggs? Right, enough! Mm -hmm. Maybe. We don't know if that's the case. We did reach out to the Buffalo Bills. Believe me. <laughs> we reached yeah. out to the Buffalo Bills organization. You still doing that 16-foot bison thing? Huh? Mm -hmm. We think that's crap. And also, why the AFC South? Could you not have sent him anywhere else for a second rounder? I think there's a nice combination of things happening here. A nice refresh for Stephon Diggs. We have no idea if Brandon Bean and the team saw the tweet and were like, why, why, why is this even... Why is this even happening? You follow that up with, you know, a few months back, his brother was tweeting about it. Oh, yeah. There's been a lot of things said in the fact. It's just, they're moving on. And now, who knows what the Bills are going to do? I assume they have some sort of plan. But the Houston Texans, we all believe, huh. got much better today, especially with Diggs going to be trying to reprove himself in a new situation. For so, sure. congrats to the Texans. Correct? Congrats to the Bills, obviously. Good work, Texans. The Bills are happy, too. Seems like everybody's happy well, for him, Doug. Well. Talks to tables here. At Boston Connor, at Ty Schmidt. I'm about done with all the wah, 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 the laughing <laughs> no, in my no, face. No, no, no. Yeah, you have all day. The laughing's not stopping. All day, Connor. The well, well, well has, to, has nothing to do with the Colts, but you said the Bills are probably happy. I know right now, Bills Nation, Bills Mafia, they're just crumbling at the seams. I mean, you can feel it all the way in Indiana, what's going on in Buffalo right now. I assume if you reach out to Sal Capaggio, there's a chance that Sal says, yeah, I got some calls today. And a lot of people weren't saying what they were saying about their offseason moves, which was, hey, this was necessary. I'm sure a lot of people are saying today, what the hell happened? How did we go from the guy that was catching 120 balls, had 1,400 yards, 12 touchdowns? How did we go – from that, that's what's going. The success that they had together, yeah, that's what's going to Houston. That's what. Just keep, continue your thought. Well, but 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 how did they go from that to this? Like it, it all crumbled so. What were you fast. gonna say? You were gonna say sorry to the Colts? Yeah, no, we got no, no, I was gonna say at least the Colts paid paid a corner that can go on the outside and cover Stephon Days. There's no worries about that whatsoever. And but once again, oh. Oh, he's a nickel. But, well, it went, well, fine. Diggs the, in the slot. Yeah, it went, yeah, yeah, when Diggs goes to the slot. Yeah, they got a first-round pick still. Uh, but, safety here. Yeah, yeah. but Buffalo loses. Over the top, he's going to be. Yep. Yeah. But how many people can you shade over top? I guess we should ask. Yeah, they did well against Nico Collins. One half of the hammer. <laughs> Done. Okay, that was one play. It was the first uh, one. Big we should have been ready. I mean, it was tough, obviously, <laughs> and then play. it ended away. We're joined by two guys that could potentially give us a lot more insight mm -hmm. on why I should be feeling the way I'm feeling. Or maybe, hey, don't worry about it. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, living legend. Universal signed rapper from Cincinnati Bengals, Dallas Cowboys, Tennessee Titans, what? Denver Broncos. What? Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Pac Man Jones. Yeah. 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 Good to see you. I know you know the Diggs family uh, pretty well. Um, the Steph doesn't suck, right? No, he <laughs> he's still really good. Yes, he's still. A what do we think is going on here? What, why do you do you think he's happy to be going to Houston? What do you think his thoughts are? If you're from Stephon Diggs, then? um, I think he's happy going to Houston. Uh... With what they got going on in Houston and getting Joe Mixon, um, he, he he's going – he probably won't even demand double coverage with the weapons that Houston got. Um, I think this is a big move. But my other question is, the Bills done got rid of both of the receivers. Yep. Mm -hmm. The only other receiver out there that's talking about they want to be out or go somewhere is T. Higg. Yeah, he's in Cincinnati. Will you – now, oh. would the Bills make a move for T. Higgins after giving up Diggs? I'll be fascinated to see if that's the case. Or do the Younger? Bills think that the draft is maybe? Yeah. yeah. I, I wonder if the, the Bills think like because remember there draft has been that high? well there has been a trend of there has been a trend of young wide receivers being better quicker. So if they're banking on Josh Allen being able to make right guys Whoever. good, yeah. and if Dalton right Kincaid, can, yep. can continue to blossom, I I wonder if that's their thoughts. But 
I'm not saying giving up Stephon Diggs is a thing I would do if I have a team ever that's trying to throw a football with a quarterback, no especially with the deal that's already locked in. Now, they did have some salary cap issues. d do you think salary was one of the pressing issues here? They had to go through all big number guys and see who they could potentially move on from. What do you think yeah. they're thinking in Buffalo? I think they're still holding like a $30, $30 million cap, uh, dead cap mm-hmm. uh, moving off from Diggs. We, like, Only eight mean, next year, though. You mentioned yeah. it earlier, though. You, we've seen this kind of brewing, you know, yeah. whether it's during the season, preseason, training camp. Uh, when it's a team that everybody expects from the outside in to have a Super Bowl window, you got an MVP caliber quarterback. Uh, Diggs has kind of been in that tier one uh, for a while. Now, like you said, his production slowed down last year. But you saw it brewing, and now hopefully it's just a fresh start for both sides. I think, of course, you asked Pat, I think he's ecstatic being down in yeah. Houston. Obviously, he's uh, closer to his brother so now, punk. so that's easier for the family to go mm-hmm. uh, to both, both games. Uh, no taxes. income taxes. Yeah, that's uh, great. Moving yeah. from Buffalo. To Houston, Texas is definitely different. Uh, and, and you're still going to have that chip on your shoulder. He is, uh, regardless of what you think about him off the field and the headlines, he's a dog. Yeah. He's going to come, he's going to grind, and uh, he's going to give it his all um, between those white lines every week. So you it's a great move, sh- obviously, for you. You think he's showing up wearing his shin guard shoulder pads fashion? What do you think his fit is? As he shows up here to Houston, uh, I don't know. It'll be it'll be, it'll be something something mm-hmm. interesting. It, it always hat. is. Maybe it always a is. Eye patch or something. Whoa, 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 whoa. that'd be cool. Yeah, that'd be sweet. That'd be cool. Well, maybe he's a pirate walking in there like the Peaky <laughs> Pirate. Start his entire damn thing. And D'Amico yeah. Ryan, though, that that will be the coach. You know, the culture setter mm-hmm. like that. I would want for a guy. And once again, I don't think you know he's a, in a problem or issue like that. But um, D'Amico Ryan's, I think he 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 demands the respect. That a lot Zimmer. Of Right? Yeah. In mm-hmm. Minnesota. In Minnesota. Mm-hmm. Yep. McDermott. Mm-hmm. Pretty similar. Yeah. yeah. I think we think like defense guys. kind of a similar style. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now another defense coach, but D'Amico, you know, a little bit his energy swagger. seems yeah. to be so absurd. Yeah. I wonder how it'll match up. Um, Perfectly, probably. Yeah, okay. Young quarterback, I'm just though. Saying. You, you do you do <laughs> yes. there, there is some you know, I I played with, with Cam as a rookie and he had, you know, Steve Smith, big personality. You know, great player. Once again, another dog who's gonna play hard, great big personality though. You know, <laughs> Jeremy Shockers on that team. So it was it's a lot of voices in your head when you're a young quarterback. Luck, you know, Reggie wasn't that type of vet. He was kinda like, Hey, you know, I'm gonna do my job, I'm gonna be that guy. You had young T Y who you kinda growing along with. So that will be a different dynamic for CJ Stroud, who has shown great leadership skills as a rookie. Yeah. Now you got a big personality. Once again, great player. Dog work ethic um, that's going to come in that locker room and be a big part, you think, of that offense. You talk about C.J. Stroud, you have to immediately talk about, like, his accuracy. Like, mm-hmm. Stephon throw. Diggs is about to get. You so know, many. Not that Josh didn't, but I'm just saying he's not going to a place where there's a wonder, like, mm-hmm. can the guy get me a ball or not? And then the O.C. is like, yeah, mm-hmm. he's a genius. 